In Adams County, three people are hurt after a shooting at a short term rental home. The sheriff's office says it happened around one this morning during a birthday party. Denver 7 Sam Pena spoke with the sheriff's office and a neighbor who says crime is unusual for that area. My dog was going nuts and um, uh, I step up and I see the lights in my living rooms. A quiet night for Joshua Harris interrupted by this. Guns out, lights on, the house giving commands. A noise complaint at a short term rental that turned into a shooting. I would say probably at least two dozen people poured out of the house. Leaving one man and two women hurt. We have had some experience over the years where this has turned into you know, disturbances, violent, violent acts, just a, a larger issue. The Adams County Sheriff's Office says there were between 25 to 50 people crammed into the small home. It's amazing the creativity some people may have. At a birthday party posted on social media. These things spread like wildfire. Sherman says it's a growing concern for rentals in Adams County. Those messages get spread through social media and once that happens, you never know who may show up. So there might be gang affiliation or just other type of opportunities to where maybe the person hosting wasn't expecting. After a similar Halloween party incident last year at another rental with over 100 people. We had uh, four to five people struck through with gunfire. But call logs show that this street in Adams County had only two calls in the past year, neither of which turned violent. I don't think this is indicative of the neighborhood like this. Leaving Joshua surprised. It's kind of a, a scary thought. But still confident in the safety of his home. I wouldn't think this would be a good, you know, party area either because there's you know grumpy old people that are going to complain and call the cops when it gets too loud. For Denver 7 reporting, I'm Sam Pena. And no charges have been filed yet, but two people are in custody. An Airbnb is using artificial intelligence to crack down on house parties ahead of Halloween. The company says its system works to prevent certain one and two night whole home bookings. AI looks at hundreds of signals and signs that could indicate a higher risk for a party. And that includes trip length, the distance to the home and whether the booking is last minute.